men have to go against the odds most of the time and that's why they don't really care about the odds in the first place whereas women tend to go with the flow so to speak and that's why they want to know what the flow is or is gonna be and hence their interest in astrology Greetings, this is Eugene the Philosopher, the greatest living philosopher after the unfortunate passing of Quentin Robert de Nameland, who has been the greatest living philosopher before me. Let's talk about why women enjoy or love or like astrology more than men, or at least on average they do, alright? And firstly, I want to tell you about my previous, like my main video about gender, if you wish. I'm going to link it in the description obviously, as well as some others that I'm going to mention throughout the, this particular video. So there you will find many reasons for what I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, like right now it's going to be a bit dry and I'm not going to go into too much detail, but that other video of mine, that previous video that I just mentioned, it explains it all from a very fundamental logical slash philosophical slash biological standpoint. So all of it is easily explainable, what I'm going to tell you right now. And obviously now I'm going to do some little song and dance about how everything that I'm about to say is ex exaggeration, generalization, etc, etc. And the effect of women liking astrology more than men or at least like you know following listening to astrology more than men is not very pronounced but it's there you know according to various polls like about 30 percent of women say they do listen to us astrological advice and only about 20 percent of men do so 30 versus 20 so the difference is clearly there. It's not super big, but it's noticeable, right? But, uh, of course, for the sake of drama in this video, we'll try to enhance the contrast and make it as black and white as possible, all right? So, song and dance over, all right? So, let's start. Women are more prone to astrology, I think, because of five main reasons. So, reason number one is an attempt to evade responsibility. So, as the saying goes, women are beings and men are doings. A man that has done nothing in his life is nobody, essentially, whereas a woman that has done nothing is still valuable for society. Again, watch my video about gender to understand why. Just because she is, again, she's a being, not a doing. And any doing has a degree of responsibility attached to it, and any man quickly learns about it. Like, if not after the first fight, then after the second fight, when, when he was like seven years old or something, okay? While women at the same time cannot, should not, and don't want to take any responsibility at all, at least in society's eyes. Uh, so anything that happens, you know, is always blamed on men. So men have this uh, so-called hyper-agency, they're always blamed for everything, and women have hypo-agency, they're always a victim, okay, of the situation, of, of their own decisions even, etc., etc. Uh, so their own decisions is never their responsibility, uh, it's always uh, some men, okay, uh, who are to blame for this. So hence, when the decision is needed after all, when a woman needs to make a decision, uh, she would be much more likely to consult some authority to sanction this decision, if you, if you wish, to share the responsibility with her. And it could be her friend's opinion, for example, or other women's opinion, like, you know, anonymous women. And women are very collectivistic because of that. And by the way, the pickup community knows about it very well and they like abuse this fact uh, a lot. Um, or it could be religion or astrology. Okay. So that, that's why we're talking about this uh, particular point. So women are bound to external agency always, at least again in the eyes of society. So they want someone else to tell them what to do. Just like Americans with AI, by the way. Watch my <laughs> latest video about it. So, women have the, uh, this uh, intrinsic desire to follow, you might say. And if they don't follow their man as they used to, you know, in the, like the nuclear family kind of setup, they will follow, well, somebody else. Maybe their favorite YouTube uh, personality or, you know, an Instagram influencer or somebody else of, uh, of this sort. Uh, watch my video, Professions That Do Not Exist, about influencers and content creators specifically. Or whoever else, you know, whoever is uh, available for her to follow. That's why, by the way, any book 
uh, aimed at females is so successful because females are gladly following any message projected at them. They just have this desire to follow in the first place, all right? And once again, watch my videos about victim mentality, where I talk about astrology, by the way, as well, and obsession with safety, where I talk about how uh, feminism actually made our society, well, basically it brings totalitarianism upon us because of uh, women's over um, overestimation of risk, let's put it this way. Okay, reason number two is general differences in cognition between men and women. So, women are more interested in people, it's not a big secret, and men are more interested in things, okay? So, women work with context, with like the, the wrapping, you know, how, how, you, how you present stuff. Whereas men work with bare facts, like what the stuff is, you know. So, so the, 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 like, again, it's Christmas time, right, or whatever. I mean, I'm recording it on uh, December 26th. So, imagine a present. So, a man would be more concerned with what's inside, whereas a woman would be more concerned with, you know, the, the context, like what it means to, to somebody, like how it is wrapped, how it's presented, like what, what's the, you know, this kind of stuff. Again, we're making everything deliberately black and white here. So, uh, there are some vague accounts how women have per better peripheral vision than men. Uh, it's not proven, mind you. Uh, at least according to some accounts, they do that. Like, there are some studies which indicate that. Though, uh, I mean, there are studies which indicate there are, there are no gender differences, but there are Notice that no studies which indicate that men have better peripheral vision. So yeah, I would say it's like the evidence shows that men, women probably have better peripheral vision. So wh why am I saying that? Is uh, generally I would say women are more aware of their surroundings because like they can see better on the side, so to speak, right? Whereas men tunnel vision on their target often. They actually have better, like, spatial awareness, men, like, in general, like, uh, three-dimensional vision, etc. But they, they, they kind of tunnel on the target, right? To, to, to throw a spear or something to that effect, right? Um, so, yeah, and uh, this is one of the reasons, I believe, well, one of the reasons I emphasize for the, the so-called one-itis, where, you know, a man is obsessed with the one, you know, some certain woman. Uh, and that's why men tend to grill themselves, <laughs> you know, much more often because of this certain woman than women are because of a certain man, okay? So, yeah. Anyways, again, just one of the reasons. So, women need to know the context of what's going on and hence their interest in astrology. You know, what the, what does the universe think? Like, what's the context of, of today? You know, like, where's Mercury? Like, what's happening? Uh, can, can we scan with our peripheral vision around the solar system, you know, and see what's what? The, the overall situation. So, a woman may ask something like, well, is the time right? to cut my hair today, okay? Like, will the universe assist me? Whereas a man may ask, again, the men are about bare facts, right? Is this barbershop good? Do they hire good people, like skilled people? Well, if they are, then, you know, the stars don't matter. Like, they'll just do their job as I do my job, you know, as a man, etc., etc. All right, reason number three. Women generally have more, read my lips, experience uh, in general sense again uh, so they have something to compare while most men don't and by experience I mean at the very least access to such experience okay so an average woman has a certain set of available people to choose from to compare you know each other with whereas an average man rarely has any choice at all in like choosing their partner okay so he, an average man is forever in the dark you might say like he like he just got lucky you know like it's a it's a pretty common phrase to describe the situation like you know like when a, a guy is asked like well how did you got together and he says well i just got lucky that she tolerated my bs and bloody blah you know uh, although there is also another dynamic mixed in here in, in these sorts of statements but uh I digress. Let's return to the topic. So, the more you know people, 
I think, the more you understand how much they are determined uh, by their circumstances, including the, the circumstances of their birth, not just, you know, the, the circumstances of their biography, which, again, we have a pretty good grasp on. Uh, I mean, the, our culture is pretty well, you know, kind of acquainted with it, with, you know, all the storytelling, kind of developing characters and showing how they got to where they are, you know, from their previous points, etc. And, and I believe, like, it's, it's actually legit, like, it's taken from real life. Um, but again, the circumstances of the birth do influence people just as much as any other circumstances of their lives, okay? So, only thirsty men uh, think that any girl would do, kind of, you know, referencing what I've just said about the experience. So, they have nothing to choose from or no one to choose from anyway. So, they have to believe that any girl would do, right? So, whereas girls, they do have a choice and hence they use astrology to kind of evaluate the possible choices, right? Because from their wider experience, they've had an opportunity to figure out that, drum roll, astrology actually works. Just like any other magic, you know, if you believe in it, if you believe in magic, it works. I mean, see placebo effect and things like that. And in general, as I've said, women are more interested in people in the first place. So they don't need to interact with the external world as much. I mean, men do it for them. Again, as I've described in my video about gender, kind of women are like the goddamn. Uh, <laughs> I forgot the words. Well, if the population is an egg, uh, is it called the yolk? The, the white is the, the external part, right? So men are the white of the egg, right? And women are the yolk. Women are the core of population, and men are the external layer. So men interact with the environment. And, and they bring stuff in from the environment for women to feed on, so to speak. So women don't have to interact with the environment. They, they, uh, so they can focus on navigating the society, the internal sphere of, of the egg, not really a sphere, whatever this shape is called. It's actually kind of two, two different shapes, uh, never mind. Uh, so, Women may use astrology as a sort of compass because otherwise people may be a little bit unpredictable, okay? So again, every person has their own biography, their own kind of kinks, kinks and limits, as they say. <laughs> you know? So uh, women at least need some, you know, rule of thumb kind of approach to a person. So they may use astrology for this, um, in this respect. Whereas, again, men, in this respect, are generally socially inept and lack the experience of, uh, you know, communication in the first place to figure these things out. All right, so reason number four is emotional. Uh, women are controlled by their internal machinery, you know, and I mostly mean things like hormones, etc., etc. So they intrinsically view the world in a more spiritualistic kind of way, you know, like the world constantly attacks them, like something is happening in their, you know, like hormonal uh, system, etc. Like they're, 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 they're a constant victim of some external influences, in reality actually internal influences, right? Some some evil spirits or good spirits are attacking them, etc, etc. Uh, so it looks almost fatalistic on, on some level, right? So women don't really feel they have a control over their lives, in this respect at the very least, all right? So hence these types of reactions from them. So they think that other people don't have any control of their lives as well. Other people, I mean men as well, like, uh, oh, you're a Virgo, we're, we're never going to get along, etc., etc. You know, there is some, some, you know, <laughs> some, some fatalism here, uh, right? So uh, as if there was some, like, special type of uh, whatever. Hopefully you get the point. Whereas, Again, like again, <laughs> like for men, it's, it's very hard to understand the, the, the levels of anxiety that a typical woman has in her life every day, like every moment, every second. Like men are usually more like calm, you know, collected, like stable, again, fact oriented, dry, like just, just like, you know, a calm sea, right? Something like that. 
Whereas again, women are just like, they are either super happy or super sad or whatever, depending again on this internal machinery of theirs. So, uh, and I'm not saying men are not all, like, uh, men are always like calm and collected and like just and whatever and, you know, virtuous, etc., etc. Like, obviously many men are garbage and they do also have all kinds of disorders of this sort and not, not necessarily disorders, just natural reactions, natural emotional reactions. I'm just saying that it, like a classical male virtue, you know, is to just do the job. Like, do what you're supposed to, no matter what, no matter the circumstance, all right? So be the rock, you know, be be the bedrock, be the, the like, the, the, the foundation of, of something. Again, as I've said in my video, morality is a flex, I think, uh, like, male virtues, like, ma main goals of a man in his life is to build and lead. That's it. And you can't do either of those, or neither of those, if you are you know, this roller coaster kind of guy, you know, you need to be actually do the job, no matter the circumstance. So male virtue, once again, I repeat, is to do the job no matter what, no matter the circumstance. Whereas in this respect, a, a, a woman's job is to be happy no matter what, no matter the circumstance. So men have to go against the odds most of the time, and that's why they don't really care about the odds in the first place. Whereas women, tend to go with the flow, so to speak. And that's why they want to know what the flow is, or is gonna be. And hence, their interest in astrology. Alright? Does that make sense? So, men are not interested in astrology just because it's just yet another enemy, potential enemy, that they have to face. But they don't care because, like, again, a male virtue is to be powerful enough to uh, put down like any enemy you may encounter. So a man just, you know, takes his spear and his uh, shield and whatever and just goes. And like that's the male virtue. Just go. You just do your job, right? Whoever you're facing, like a Hydra, like a Lernaean lion or whatever it was called, like you just kill them all, okay? Uh, you don't worry about it beforehand. <laughs> Whereas women constantly worry about all kinds of things. So they're saying, oh, who am I might encounter today? Let's consult an astrologist, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Uh, am I going to feel happy today, right? Uh, returning to the intrinsic uh, anxiety and uh, the roller coaster uh, hormonal stuff and things like that. All right. And a fifth and final reason is the financial. So women, believe it or not, are the main consumers in society. So according to Forbes, at least, women drive 70 to 80 percent of all the consumer decisions, consumer pur purchasing decisions. I'm sorry. Uh, and more, much more than that, I actually encountered an article recently saying that uh, women spend half a million dollars. An average woman spends half a million dollars more than an average man in their lifetime. Imagine that. So next time yet another idiot starts complaining about the gender pay gap, ask them, how can an average woman spend half a million dollars more than an average man if she earns like 13% less? Just ask them. Ask them, how do women drive 70 to 80% of consumer decisions if they earn 30% less? It's actually, the answer is actually very simple. <laughs> like, okay, gender gap, gender pay gap is rubbish, but uh, how do women outspend men like 2.5 times more, nevertheless, actually, if you, if you take 80%, that's, uh, what, four times more, okay? So that's a pretty <laughs> decent <laughs> gender gap, okay? So how does it happen? Well, because men don't need that much, all, all of those memes, you know, like men live like this and they sincerely think it's okay, you know, like how women complain, what, what, Men are very minimalistic in their needs, and we are. <laughs> I mean, it's it's obvious. I mean, okay. So, anyways, uh, okay. I kind of forgot what I wanted to say. So, oh yeah, why is what's the reason for this four times uh, more spending on the side of women? Well, it's because men provide for women, 
So men don't spend money; they just give give it, give it to women. <laughs> that, that's what the that's what the real gap is. Like women don't give money to men; men give money to women. Most of their money, as you can see from these stats, okay. So yeah, there was a Danish study I remember. It was in 2013 or something like that, uh, which found uh, like they've just calculated, you know, pr projected forwards. Like, what if a girl bo born today, like, gets born? I guess is the proper verb today in in Denmark versus a boy like and over their lifetime like what's their impact on society is going to be so what they found is that a woman a girl was a net loss financially for the society and a pretty significant one whereas a, a, a boy a man is was a net gain and but a man was like a half a like two times smaller net gain than a girl was a net loss okay so with their socialistic policies etc etc they were pumping so much money into women that uh yeah you get stats like that so men basically are paying for everything that's the kind of my bottom bottom line but yeah uh, and watch my video family and state where i describe it in more detail yet we're talking about astrology okay so let's get back to it uh, astrology is yet another product that's kind of my point so women consume astrology more than men just like women consume any other product more than men period that's my point really with respect to this well except for male specific products obviously but there aren't many of these okay probably a bonus sixth point maybe astrology right it's something with celestial bodies and maybe women noticed something important that, uh, you know, median length of menstrual cycle is 28 days, which is also the period of rotation of the moon around the earth. The moon actually doesn't rotate around the earth, by the way. It is a, never mind, it's a quasi-satellite of earth. It's not a true satellite. But anyways, the virtual rotation of the moon around the earth is 28 years, uh, 28 days long, and such is also the period of rotation of the sun an interesting coincidence don't you think all right uh actually i i wanted to end already but uh, like i want to talk to my patrons specifically so if you're not a patron you, you may just uh, switch the video off uh i don't think i appreciate you enough and i kind of feel guilty about it recently so thank you first and foremost, especially to those of you who have been supporting me for a long time, and there have been, like, quite a few of you, and, uh, well, yeah, as I've said, like, I don't think I'm doing enough uh, for you specifically, and I kind of plan to do something more. <laughs> I have a desire to, okay, so, uh, perhaps, perhaps I'll actually record some special video like patreon only right now because I'm, i, I kind of feel like it there's a thing very important thing i want to tell you so uh stay in touch all right yeah thank you for watching the eons are closing if you wish to support me please consider joining my patreon that is patreon.com slash philosopher see the link in the description or if you have a scientific theory of your own and you'd like my help in developing it please join my alternative science coaching program also available through patreon